Praise God. Amen. Amen. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday right here in Washington State. Praise God. I'm going to have to work the weekend, but that's all right, man. That's all right. Amen. Just got done just talking to Jesus, man. It's so awesome, man. I just feel like I'm just so high right now on God, you know. Amen. It's so awesome. A Desiree. A Desiree. It's so awesome how the presence and tangible presence of God can just fill a room, you know. Amen. And you could just sit there and just weep and weep and weep because the manifest, tangible presence of God just romances your heart, man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But real quick, you guys, man, I just wanted to share something with you that's been a breakthrough in my life. And, you know, it's about praying over your bodies, okay? And uh, this has brought me breakthrough. You know, I do a lot of construction work, a lot of manual labor. You know, I've been doing this kind of work, you guys, since I was 16. And so, uh, you know, even back then, God had a plan for me, even if I couldn't see it, you know, a few years back. But he was getting me ready for this. And that's why I speak so heavily on my work. You know, my work is my ministry, okay? So God has been preparing me. And God is preparing you too, but it will take a toll. You know, our bodies will take a toll. But I want you to know when you speak over your bodies, you guys, powerful things are happening. And I'm going to show you a picture uh, here in a little bit. But one of my uh, one of my main uh, I love I love to say this since 2016 of this year. When you do the ridiculous, the miraculous happens. When you do the ridiculous the miraculous happens and so during my quiet time with the lord you know and this is where i get my passions this is where i get a lot of my you know <clears throat> encouragement the, uh, all those things but he also teaches me and he shows me things that i need to do you know for myself you know um and so he will help us with this but i just wanted to show you an image real quick now i was having a lot of problems you guys and i'm just being real all of you know that brother lewis is just you know I, I wear my feelings on my shoulders sometimes, but there's nothing to be hidden, okay? I'm here to serve people, love people, and help people, all right? And so we can do that through our, our lives, amen? But I was having a lot of troubles, you guys, remembering things. Is there anybody out there that are having problems remembering? Uh, you're having problems with your short-term memory, uh, maybe your long-term memory, uh, or just thinking, you know, being able to have your intention uh, to be, uh, you know, have attention, your attention span, uh, maybe your speaking, okay? Now, I know, like, when I was growing up, I had a really bad stuttering problem. And, um, you know, God has done amazing things there. But praying and speaking, you know, the, speak, the spoken word, you know, Jesus is the living word, right? So when you speak the word, words of God you're speaking you're speaking Christ and so there's something that takes place prophetically there's something that takes place supernaturally when you start praying over your bodies okay now brother Lewis you know before I came to meet Jesus you know uh, I was in walking in the world and I was doing things that you know that I wasn't supposed to be doing you know so I've done a lot of drugs in my life Praise God, he delivered me from that. <clears throat> but from doing these things, you know, it's caused a lot of problems with my brain. It's caused a lot of problems, you know, with my thinking, all right? And so uh, I say that to help people, all right? Because there's a lot of us out there, you know, we weren't walking with God and maybe we done things that we shouldn't have done that hurt our bodies, okay, naturally. And so I've done that. And so I have a, uh, you know, especially being with my work and in my business, you know, I really need to remember a lot of things. And so during the first part of this year, I just wanted to share real quick, you know, I have a, I have a log book right here. And I, and I usually write in my log book, you know, some of the most amazing uh, times uh, that, that Christ has been speaking to me, you know, I'll go ahead and, and write it down in here. Uh, you know, it's a good thing to have you guys, but even in here, you'll see, um, you know, uh, my whole life changed um, in 2008 
when I decided to come into this same room right here and said, you know, was there really more? Is there really more than just going to uh, a meeting every Sunday? And so intentionally, I woke up the next day at four in the morning and I came in here and, and waited on God. I didn't know what that picture looked like. But, but um, I had an encounter with God into the fourth hour of just waiting and waiting and waiting, sitting on a chair. And I love to share that with you. But ever since then, I've been writing. I've been writing my book right here. And I just kind of wanted to insert this to empower somebody out there. So you can... So I, I write down all these things, all these things, these awesome things, you know, that, that God has done in my life. They're very important. And, and a lot of them are like my, um, I have to go back sometimes and, and grab a hold of them uh, when I'm going through ro uh, rocky times or tough times because we'll do that, okay? But these are marker points in my life. But one of the main marker points in my life so far in 2016 is, is being able to pray over my mind, you guys. And I wanted to demonstrate this because it's powerful, man. I'm telling you, my memory has come back, my thinking, my attention span, my speaking, uh, being encouraged, being empowered. Come on, you guys. This is a powerful truth that I want to share with you guys. And, and when you do the ridiculous, uh, the miraculous will happen. So this is what Jesus showed me. Jesus showed me to do this. So he said, download a picture of the brain. And that's what I did. I'm going to show you right here. Okay. All right. So I downloaded that picture, and, and uh, you can see right there. And what I'll do is I'll have, uh, I'll see if I can put this image on the comments below. All right. I'm not saying that uh, this is the way to do it. I'm not saying that this is, you know, what I'm trying to say, you guys, is that this is what's working for me. This is what's working for me. Maybe it will help somebody out there. All right. And so this is from the leading of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So when you do the ridiculous, that's the, when the miraculous happens. All right. And so, you know, through my, through my time with, with the Lord, you know, I mean, when I, when I say time with the Lord, you know, he's always with us, you guys. But there's, <clears throat> you know, how can I explain it? There's, there's, there's times where, where that, intimate, that intimacy with Christ is what I'm talking about, you know, where, where we meet with Christ, you know, and we have conversation. And we have conversation throughout the day, too. You know, sometimes it's hard for me to explain what I'm, what I'm experiencing. But, you know, the tangible presence of God comes, you know, the tangible presence of God comes. You know what I'm saying? The tangible presence of God comes. And so sometimes you can just sit in that. Just sit, sit, sit for hours. And so, um, you know, but he's speaking to you. He's showing you. He's giving you revelations. He's giving you ideas. He's, he, he, he's giving you, uh, uh, he's uh, activating you. And, uh, man, he's making everything that he's showing you become a living reality in your life. So something that comes from heaven is made a living reality in your life as you walk your life okay so so this is this is my my foundation i was a very doctrinal person very theological person that was my foundation but god had to break me of that now my foundation is on intimacy and 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 and, and uh relationship with jesus it's about a relationship but i would pray i would pray and um and so as i would spend my time with god he would say okay let's pray over your mind and i would and i would go like this in jesus name i thank you father and so right now i pray over my brain okay and i'm just sharing this to help you okay um you guys can do what you want to do but this is what's really helping me this is what's giving me breakthrough i'm my whole life has changed once again Oh, I'm telling you. But I would say in Jesus' name, I, I pray over the, the motor functions of my brain right now. In Jesus' name. Uh, you know how many knows that God wants your skin to be healthy? You know, I've been, pray I've been losing some of my hair in the back. I've been praying over my hair. Guess what? My hair's coming back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so the power is in the tongue. The power is as you release, okay, uh, as you release, it's, a, it's the law of, of um, uh, it's a law of, uh, sowing and reaping okay that is so true you guys okay so even when you start your day start saying man this, today is going to be an awesome day today is going to be a powerful day uh, today is going to be man my family is going to get blessed today because what you're speaking in the morning you will receive it by the end of the day or if not the next day so if you start your day in a, in a bad attitude, if you start your day getting on your kids, if you start your day getting on your husband or, or the wives getting on the husband, you're going to reap that because you're sowing into that, okay? So I'm just sharing this powerful reality, all right? All the replay viewers, go back because this is going to change your life, okay? 
All right, so I had a lot of problems remembering, okay? This, this uh, start in 2016, major problems, okay, with remembering things. But I would just start praying this, these, these right here. I would start, uh, I started to learn the parts of the brain. <clears throat> I was praying in Jesus' name, my skin sensation, uh, be healed right now. Um, you know, uh, my frontal lobe uh, movement, problem solving in the name of Jesus. I command it to work 100% concentrating. I command it to work 100% right now in my brain. Brain, I'm speaking to you. Now remember, when you're praying for yourself, don't... Uh, <sighs> Go ahead. You have to. You are. You are a king. You are a, a priest now. That's why Jesus is the King of Kings. So when you speak, you have power. So you want to speak commanding. You, you're a, with a commanding, militant. Uh, uh, you know, um, man. How can I say it? Um, in that way. In that way, we're no longer asking God to do things. You guys. There's two things that we don't do. We don't ask God to give us something that He's already given us, and we don't ask God. You know, asking what should we do when He's already said to go all right he's already said to go do that all right so now you command you command and you tell whatever it is what you want to be changed you tell it okay and that's what i've been doing so i say in jesus name i command my speech control Broncos area right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name you're going to work properly right now in the name of jesus your punctuation your speech come on when i speak the word of god's going to come out truth's going to come out Passion is going to come out in Jesus' name, all right? And so I would just go down the list. I'll go ahead and put the image up on the comments, okay? So I'm talking about what's changed my life on, on memory. Okay, I had a lot of problems memory at the beginning of this year, you guys. A lot of problems, okay? But as I've gone through this, now what? We're like, what, four months later? I'm telling you, my, my, I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm changed. But every day... Or at least every other day, okay? I think I've probably missed like five days this year so far. All right? But I would go down to sensation, uh, you know, language, perception, be healed right now. Uh, pineal gland, be healed right now. <clears throat> Optical nerves, be healed right now. Eyes, be healed right now. In Jesus' name, vision, be healed right now. Perception, be healed right now. In Jesus' name, language, comprehension, be healed right now. All right, so I would just go down the list. I will have a picture of this, okay? But I'm telling you, if you guys would, would you know, I know it'll work. Uh, man, I'm telling you, that's how much, you know, when God does amazing things in your life that are life-changing, there's nothing that can move you from that because you know the way that you was and, and you know what God is doing now, all right? And so, and so I even have here in my logbook, I shared on this, uh, a little bit earlier, you guys, and, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera steady. But I even shared on here, okay, here's here's January 10th, I even wrote this, uh, feeling so good, my thinking and my confidence is, is, is big today. I am so amazed just with a few focused prayers and spending time with Jesus uh, has done in my life. Let's see. Hang on a minute. Okay, right here. here here's one I have written down, documented. Prayer, uh, 2000, uh, uh, February 10th, 2016. It's been over 30 days now, and I feel great. I've been praying over my brain for the last 30 days in the morning. It has made a big impact. Okay, so I have other things on here too. All right. Amen, amen. I'm trying to read these now. Sorry about that, guys. I just kind of went off talking. Amen. Amen. And I'll go over these comments. I got to kind of get, got to get going. Jesus wanted me to share this. And then, you know, I struggled with it for a little bit. And then I figured out what was going on. You know, the enemy does not want this to get out, you guys. And so we have to learn to figure that out. And so um, I needed, to, I needed to go with what Jesus wanted me to show this morning. Okay. But I will have an image. Pray over your brain, you guys. I'm telling you, man. Pray over it. When you do the ridiculous, the miraculous happens. I'm telling you, it's changing my life. Uh, my memory is so strong. Uh, my attention span is so strong. My body is like completely, man, you know, I'm 46, I'm 46 years old, you guys. And man, I, I can play basketball. I can, man, I can run. I can ride my bike. I have no problems. 
Why is that? Because I pray over my body. I speak over my body life, 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 life in Jesus' name. I command these knees to be healed right now. New cartilage in the name of Jesus right now. Blood flow work. I command my heart to be healed. All right. I command my arteries to be cleaned, my lungs to be healed right now in Jesus' name. Then your carnal mind will step in and say, oh, no, that's not going to work. Oh, no, you're too old. Oh, no. Remember that pizza you ate last night? Oh, no. Hey, tell that guy to, to shut up. He's, he, he died with Christ 2,000 years ago, man. You're a new creation now, okay? So start speaking life. Don't listen to the, to the old you. That, that person's dead and gone. Jesus took care of him 2,000 years ago. You're in the new covenant now, okay? You're a new creation now. When you speak, I'm telling you, you're changing the spiritual climate. When you speak over your home, over your children, and, and it's never good enough, you guys, to know it in your mind or to know it in your heart. It's not good enough. You have to release it. You have to speak it. In the very beginning, God spoke, let there be earth, and boom, there it was through the spoken word. We're created in the likeness of God, you guys, okay? So get a hold of this. Start praying over your bodies, whatever's going on, every day, every day. And don't do it out of performance. Don't do it out of works. Just do it out of, you know what? God's going to do something great in my life. I'm speaking truth. I'm speaking life. And things are going to change because they will change. They will change. Anyways, I just wanted to share this breakthrough in my life of praying over your mind, praying over your brain. It has helped me. I'm telling you, I'm like, I feel like 20 years younger, guys. I feel like 20 years younger. But nothing happened until I did the ridiculous. When you do the ridiculous, the miraculous will happen, all right? I'll leave an image on here if you guys want to go for it. Go for it. I just wanted to share my life with you all. I wanted to share what God has been doing through this. Just awesome, man. Awesome, 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 man. And the other thing, too, guys, I'm so encouraged. Even the encouragement is, is just flowing like crazy, you know. Nothing works until this here starts working, okay. We can't move our arm, our legs, or anything until this up here works. So if we can get that going and working and functioning, you know, in Jesus' name, and it's going to happen. I'm telling you, it's going to break, bring breakthrough in your life. And it don't matter how old you are. It don't matter. It don't matter. Watch. Watch. It's going to be awesome, man. So I just wanted to share this. Amazing things. Take uh, whatever you can from here and, and just apply it to your life. You're blessed already. God wants to do it in you, man. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. All right. And uh, stay tuned for uh, more of these live video um, with Facebook. I'm going to be starting my new uh, page called Marketplace America, where I'm going to be teaching at different levels how to be an empowerment where you spend most of your time, where I'm going to be actually doing live video like this in real time with real people to help you. Okay, so um, man, share this with somebody if this has blessed you. All right, man, I love you guys and thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Gotta have